you guys welcome back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this very easy dress for a little girl guys anybody can make this style and the first thing you're going to need is just even for a beginner you can make this so you see what i have here this rectangular fabric so i'm going to tell you guys how i got the width and how i got the length so first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to place it on each other because one is the back and one is the front and this is for a five years old and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take it the way it is and fold it this way again so now i have i have it folded this way so that i can be able to cut it so now the next, the next thing i'm going to do is just to go ahead and i'm going to um check the weight the width of the fabric so the width that you're going to have here is just their bust measurement round their chest divided by four plus like extra um 1.5 or so so the chest i'm working with is 24 divided by four will give me six plus extra 1.5 will be somewhere here right so now that's half an inch for ease if you want you can do extra two inches one inch of ease and one inch of seam allowance it depends on you i think that's what i'm going to do so extra two inches so i'm just going to use the whole width of the fabric and then the next thing is to determine the length i have here so i've told you how to get the width and then the length is just basically you're going to place your tape here skipping about two inches because remember it's going to have a strap coming out from it so that strap is going to start after the two inches and then you see the shoulder to waist i'm working with so that means her shoulder will start at here to 10. her shoulder to waist is 10 but you see my 10 is at here this point here and then and then i have half an inch here this would be to join the gather flay part of it you see so basically you're going to place the shoulder to waist measurement and then add half an inch at the bottom part here but that half an inch is still on the fabric but these two inches that we skipped here is basically the part that will not be part of the cloth and then and then extra one inch from this here is going to be the part i'm going to fold to um, fold this top part here so actually my strap is going to cover about three inches because this extra one inch here is going to be folded in so now this is the body of the clothes so i'll show you when i fold this so now that we've calculated how to get the width and how to get the um side the next thing i'm going to do is just to go ahead and measure her shoulder measurement divided by two which is going to be 5.5 her shoulder is 11 divided by two is going to be 5.5 mark that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in about um 1.5 inches from this part here and then I'm going to come down here and set her armhole divided by two. So her armhole but divided by two is going to be 12. So that will be at six. I'm going to go ahead and mark it, connect it this way. So you see, I connected it to the original point where her shoulder is. So let me say it again. Her shoulder measurement divided by two is 5.5. I marked it. Came down here, placed my tape again at two. All my measurements are starting at two. Put in her armhole divided by two, which is giving me six. I marked that here. So now the next thing I'm going to do is that other measurement I, I went in with, which is 1.5. I'm going to now connect from this point. Instead of going my curve going this way, my curve is just going to go from this point now and connect to this 1.5. Because we are trying to recreate like a strap coming in here. So now that's basically all we have to do. I'm just going to go ahead and, and cut this out. So guys, this is what I'm working with here. So now, another thing I like to do is I'm going to go back in again and chip off like half an inch in here. So like go back in here and take away another extra half an inch all the way to the top. Because of the way I'm going to be attaching my strap, you'll see that. So guys, I hope what I said makes made sense. So after cutting off that first one, just go back in and mark like half an inch or 0 0.25 all the way. And then cut that out again right this is just to give you more room here because when we put in the strap it will come back up again so now that that is done i'm going to open this now so we have two pieces of this here we have the first one and then we have the second one so let me place it so you see so now the first thing i'm going to do is just to go up here like i told you guys let me use this one so you see like i told you guys there's a there's one inch here that that, that we are supposed to use to fold this in so i'm going to fold this like this half an inch and then fold this, this again just like how you fold your clothes i'm going to stitch it this way and then i'm also going to do the same thing on this one i'm going to fold it half and then fold it again to take away that one inch so so guys you see this is the first piece done 
you see there's no dart on this here this is just how you do it this dress doesn't have any dart because it doesn't have a zip so i don't i didn't add a dart but there's a way you can do it so you can be able to add a dart if you really want to have a dart when you fold it into two this way you can always do do her waist measurement divided by four plus extra two inches one inch of darting and one inch of seam allowance that way you can use just the side you can always insert the zip by the side like under on one side of the armhole you can do that add a zip on the side but this one method i'm showing you guys doesn't have a zip it's just a free dress so now the next thing i'm going to show you is how i got to put in this strap so this is it here you see we have folded that one inch at the top remember that one inch i spoke about is folded now so this is the back here so what i'm going to do to add this strap by the armhole is basically i'm going to get my strap you can cut it as long as you think you would need and then i'm going to fold half an inch this is two inches of width and then the length the, the, um, depends on you so and then i'm going to fold half an inch here and then i'm going to fold half an inch here and then fold it in, into two this way you see so now what i'm going to do that's why i said to take away half an inch from that seam so now because when you go to sew this back in you're adding back a, a, a length to it of half an inch you understand what i'm saying so now you're going to just put this in between this strap this way and keep on sewing it on in between this into in between this belt and then you continue your seam all the way to the top let me explain again you this is two inches of width you fold half an inch on this end half an inch on this end and then fold the two of them in, together take this piece here put it in between this thing this way and then continue making the stitch all the way from this you get to the end of this top here you continue going all the way till the end so that's basically how you do it once you're done you take the two of them and join it together close up this part close up this part so guys this is it here you see i've joined mine hem the edge so now i'm just going to flip it to the front so you guys will see so now all i have to do is just to add the bottom part here so you see if you want you can add a tiered bottom to this if you want you can add just one layer to it anything you want you can add to the bottom of this but i'm just going to add one layer of flay to it and how you're going to calculate it is just from this end of this part here to this end if you want a normal flay you can do times 2.5 so the way i got 14 now i can do times 2.5 for the flay for the width of the flare i'm going to be working with you can do times three whatever you want to do you can do that just use from this point to this point mine is 14 so multiply it by 2.5 or by three that way you can get enough to get around the waist right so how you're going to calculate the length like we already calculated for me i should have to waste this thing right and then i have half an inch extra here you see now after folding that one inch away my top is actually starting at three so when i go to tie this on her shoulder i'm tying it somewhere here you see the tie is going to start it's going to stop at this point here at this point so at three inches on her shoulder then before where the body of this clothes starts so somewhere here and then the body of the clothes starts here so that it will get to her waist which is at 10 and then plus my half an inch of joining it right so now what I'm going to do is just take what I've already calculated. I'm using about 2.5 or so for mine. So this is it here. I'm going to use it to join it to the body, the bottom of this here. Like I said, if you wanted to add a zip to it, all you, all you have to do is just to make sure that the seam here is getting to this point here. That's the opening of this seam is also on the side seam this way because there's no seam at the back. So you want the seam to be here. That way from the bottom part here, maybe three inches down from here or five inches down. From here, that way you can add a zip that will go from the end of this point here and then connect into this part and then go all the way using the side seam allowance on both sides. So now I'm just going to take it here and get at this in here. And then for the length, you just have to calculate her shoulder to her waist and her shoulder to her ankle or wherever you want the length of her dress to be. Subtract the half length of this one from the total length you got. That's how you calculate what will be here. So then you add your one inch to fold this edge. Whatever you get, let's say you get like 20. Add one inch for this bottom fold. That will be 21. And then half an inch from this part here to make this half an inch. That will be um 21.5. So I'm going to go ahead and join mine now and bring it back so you guys can see. So guys, you see, this is it here. I've added this to it. So basically just... All you have to do is just just as i'm sewing i'm i'm pinching it like i'm pleating it almost like a pleat all the way around the waist 
so that's how you can do it and then once you once you finish you get you go around the dress and this is it you close it up hem the ends this dress you can make me as many as you want and it doesn't take much fabric it doesn't take much time i think you can even make it in form of an adult style just all you have to do is maybe in an adult you might want to come down up to like four to five inches from the shoulder it depends on you you can always alter the measurements for a little girl you might do maybe like a one year old you might do one inch from the shoulder fold one inch right each one you do depending on you can measure on the person how far you want how far you want to come down on their shoulder and then add one inch to, consider the one inch you're going to use to fold this center part and then the length of the bodies and then the bottom part of the bodies so that's basically thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video guys please like share and subscribe bye